So that's, uh, I think, enough talking. I really want to sure. get our hands uh, into the system. So we're going to take a look at Patch Manager. Full disclosure, this is not a deep dive into Patch Manager. We have other lab sessions to work with that. However, um, we want to just do a quick overview. So over here in our system, first of all, we have some machines. You can see that we've got a few different machines. Not a lot. It's a lab. It's a lab. Yeah. You know, but uh, you can see that we have the machines. We have a package we're going to push to. In this case, uh, I think we're going to use Notepad++. Mm -hmm. um, again, this might be more of your you know, desktop environment, but it doesn't matter. And the point I want to make here is that you can use your patching system not just for updates or security fixes or whatever, but also to push out whole software, mm -hmm. say any one of the 37 free tools that SolarWinds has. Yeah. Shameless plug. Um, <laughs> so in this case, we're going to use uh, Notepad. So talk us through this. How do I get this out onto a system? OK, so there's a couple steps here. The first thing is to identify the specific packages you want. Now, these packages synchronize in, like you said, automatically tested. They're pre-tested, and they're ready with all the rules wrapping them. Mm -hmm. So all you really have to do is select which one you want to use. In this case, we'll actually use the most recent. Mm -hmm. So we'll go down to the bottom, which is not going to work. So we'll resort it. <laughs> And then we'll go to the bottom. So here's 754. So we got 754 here. And all we have to do is say, OK, well, I want to either upgrade systems that already have it on there. There's a specific rule in here as part of the prereq rules that determines whether or not it's already installed. Mm -hmm. If it is installed, then we'll upgrade. If it's not installed, this is not going to push it. That's what this one is for. So you can actually, let's say we need it everywhere. And like okay. these are Windows servers that I'm worried about sending it to. So I actually like this on there. So I'm going to go ahead and publish the contents. OK, so that one's been pushed and published. Next, what's next? OK, so that's out there on the server, but we don't actually have any approval set up. So mm. it's basically just going to sit there and collect dust. So what we'll do is we'll come into third party updates, and then we will actually find it. Here it is already. We can say, oh, I want to approve this. In my case, I want to approve for install everywhere. So all I have to do is select all computers, approve it for install, which this one's already done. You can see here it's already been approved. I did this a little earlier to kind of help. Mm -hmm. And then approve it. Mm -hmm. 